Vegas is famous for its unique and over-the-top architecture. Its resorts and casinos are some of the most iconic structures in the entire world. From the Venetian to the Bellagio and the MGM Grand, everything about Vegas is built around the idea of magnificence and extravagance. And so, the construction of a building as crazy and ridiculous as the Sphere is just another addition to the city's unique skyline. But what exactly is it, and why is it being built? The Sphere is a music and entertainment arena located just a block away from the world-famous Las Vegas Strip. At more than 100 meters tall and with a diameter of 150 meters across, it now holds the world record for being the largest spherical structure in the whole world. This record was previously held by the Avicii Arena in Sweden. Constructing such a behemoth doesn't come cheap. In its entirety, the project is estimated to cost as much as $2.3 billion. This makes it the most expensive entertainment venue in Las Vegas' history. Given its sheer size and almost perfectly spherical shape, construction was no easy feat. The engineering behind this building required lots of complicated math. But don't worry, we won't go into any detail here, although the developers were nice enough to share the formulas on their website. Yeah, right. Whatever any of this means. Since this project was the very first of this scale, it required the use of specialized equipment. That's why one of the largest cranes in the world was transported all the way from Belgium to lift some of the heaviest materials. Funnily enough, the crane itself was so massive that it had to be assembled using another crane over a period of more than two weeks. One vital piece that required special lifting was a steel compression ring that serves as the topmost part of the structure's frame. Although it doesn't look like it, this part alone weighs as much as two Boeing 757s. Its deployment would not have been possible without the specialized crane. Once the last final touches have been completed, the sphere will be able to accommodate as much as 18,000 people all at once. But aside from the concerts, the venue is also planned to be used for award shows, product launches, and even esports tournaments. The creators of the sphere are already planning to build a similar structure in London, and eventually plenty more around the world. But one question that many of you might be asking right now is why build a sphere? Well, the answer is actually fairly straightforward because it's Las Vegas, and because they can. From the outside, the structure is unlike any of the other buildings around it. And though it might stick out like a sore thumb in the city's skyline, that's precisely what it wants to be, and what Vegas is known for, over-the-top architecture that catches your eye from miles away. And believe me, its exterior will definitely catch your eye. On the 4th of July, Las Vegas tourists and residents were given a glimpse of the sphere's true form. A total of 1.2 million individual LEDs lit up for the very first time. In a spectacular display of light and color, the building made itself known to the entirety of Vegas. People on the ground and online were quick to talk about the insane nature of the structure and the engineering work behind it. At almost 56,000 square meters, the structure's exterior display isn't just the single largest LED screen in the world. It's also the largest video-capable screen of any kind. To put this into perspective, the size of this display is more than 60,000 times that of an average 55-inch TV that you probably have at home. With a screen wrapping around the entire structure, the venue can be transformed into absolutely anything you can think of. Spherical objects such as the moon, a basketball, or even a human eye are just some of the things that have already been displayed. This is The Sphere, Vegas' newest, most ambitious, and most eye-catching attraction to date. And although its exterior is impressive on its own, what lies inside is actually far more interesting than you might think. Let's take a closer look. When the project was first announced in 2018, its creators envisioned an experience that would redefine the future of live entertainment. As the entertainment capital of the world, there's no shortage of music venues and arenas in Las Vegas. So in order to stand out, the Sphere had to offer an experience that couldn't be had anywhere else. And they certainly achieved this. For one, the interior will feature a massive wraparound LED screen that follows the dome's curvature. Though it is quite small compared to the behemoth one on the outside, the indoor screen is still impressive on its own. With a total surface area of 15,000 square meters, it will be the largest and highest resolution wraparound display in the whole world. 
To create the best possible content for this incredible screen, the creators behind the MSG Sphere had to engineer their own unique camera system, called the Big Sky. This system is one of the most powerful in the world, allowing for 18K footage with 120 frames per second. If you're not familiar with these numbers, trust me, this is a lot. But not only that, the venue will also be equipped with some of the most advanced and cutting-edge audio technology. It will boost an impressive spatial audio system, consisting of more than 160,000 individual speakers. This means that everyone inside will experience the same audio quality. Even someone in the furthest seat from the stage will perfectly hear what's happening. This would also allow for playing multiple languages at once. The person next to you might be listening in Spanish while you are listening in English. The president of the Sphere has even described the audio by saying it'll be headset sound without the headset for every seat in the house. But the experience doesn't stop just with the audio-visual. Some 10,000 of the seats will have haptic technology installed on them. Viewers will physically feel the on-screen experience in real time. In addition, 4D elements such as wind and scent are also present. Creators will be able to create an experience so realistic that fans will start to question their reality, says the Sphere president in a presentation. The technology behind all of this is still pretty much brand new. Because of this, an entire production studio meant to create content just for the venue was opened in 2022. This studio aims to partner with different filmmakers and musicians to create one-of-a-kind experiences for the Las Vegas Sphere and future spheres. Although the feedback for this insane building has so far been mostly positive from all over the world, there have been valid criticisms over its construction. Some Las Vegas drivers have raised concern over the sphere being a little too distracting. With its extremely bright lights, some people are worried about the safety of driving around the arena. Because of this, officials have constantly been working with the local government in order to come up with safety regulations. Another criticism is one that's aimed at its future London location. This project has recently gotten approval from the local government to create a similar exterior display with millions of LEDs. However, residents are worried that the building will cause too much light pollution in the area. According to residents, such a bright building could only be possible in a city like Las Vegas, not in a developed urban and residential area, such as Stratford in East London. Despite all of this, one thing is certain. The Las Vegas Sphere is an engineering marvel, the likes of which the world has never seen before. What do you think of the Las Vegas Sphere? Let us know in the comments down below.